whilst engaging with the 2020 DfE Maths Guidance, perhaps reviewing your current curriculum or looking at progression of topics across year groups, you might be considering how to use the NCETM exemplification PowerPoints. These 79 PowerPoints, one for each criterion, are ideal to be used with small groups of pupils for review, practice and confidence building. Let's see how some of the slides from 3NPV3 are being used, looking at three digit numbers in the linear number system. The slides have representations such as number lines with animations and questions for you to use and adapt. Also, a language focus highlighted here that can support children to build fluency with the key idea and to support them to connect learning. Let's see how the children's understanding of the relative position of three digit numbers in the linear number system is being developed. They are encouraged to explain their thinking. Show you an arrow somewhere on this number, okay? And I want you to estimate where the arrow is pointing to. What does estimate mean? Do you know what estimate means? Estimate means around the number, not exactly. So sometimes you can give an exact number, but if you're estimating, you're thinking, I think the number is about this, and you might give me some reasoning, you might say why you think that, okay? I want you to think if 805 is a good estimate. Whereabouts on this number line might you be looking if I'm asking, if I'm telling you about 805? Whereabouts on a number line would you be looking? Um, Towards this side? Mm -mm. Towards this side? Why this side? Because 800, so it could be between 7 or 800. Okay. Here. A child is encouraged to use the STEM sentence to improve their explanation. So when you look at it, if the arrow is pointing here, the multiples of 100 either side would be 900 and 1,000. If it was here, what multiples of 100 would it be? Can you use this sentence to describe it? If my arrow is here, Mikhail? The previous multiples of 100 is 500. Having planned a session using a few of the slides, you may wish to use practical equipment to support the children to see the mathematics. In this case, the teacher has decided to print copies of number lines for the children to annotate. As the children are working, the adult circulates around the group to observe, assess, as well as build the children's confidence. Having asked all the children for their estimates, the teacher then asks further questions, here drawing attention to the midpoint. Where is it in relation to those two marks? Who can use some language we've already used today? Where is the arrow in relation to the line that's 530 and the line that's 540? Rintaj? It's in the midpoint of those two numbers. Lovely sentence printage and we used our word midpoint from before. It's exactly in the middle of those two lines. So what number is exactly in the middle of 530 and 540? What's in the middle of 0 and 10? Do you know what half of 10 is? 5. So halfway between 0 and 10 is 5. So what's halfway between 530 and 540? 535? 535. Well done, Because you didn't know that at the beginning. So other children in the room have helped you work that out. The additional slides that haven't been used in this session can be used to shape future sessions providing opportunities for the children to deepen and apply their learning in new contexts, including measures. For some of the PowerPoints, Enrich have provided a problem-solving task for children to apply their knowledge to an unfamiliar context.